It has been one week since Ohio Governor Mike DeWine vetoed House Bill 68. That is a bill that would ban gender affirming care for minors and also would not have allowed transgender athletes to participate in girls and women's sports. As News Channel 3's Marley Penchock reports, Governor DeWine held a press conference today to talk about the next steps. I signed an executive order. Governor Mike DeWine announcing Friday morning he signed an executive order banning gender transition surgeries for children under the age of 18 at any hospital or ambulatory surgical facility in Ohio. This ban is effective immediately. This will ensure that surgeries of this type on minors can never happen in Ohio. This comes a week after he vetoed House Bill 68. That bill would have banned doctors from providing gender affirmation care for minors. During Friday morning's press conference, Governor DeWine talked about next steps after the veto that include the requirement of a multidisciplinary team to support an individual through care. Including, but not limited to, an endocrinologist, a bioethicist and a psychiatrist. Another rule, a comprehensive care plan that includes sufficient informed consent from patients and parents if dealing with a child of the risk associated with treatment. And lastly, comprehensive mental health counseling prior to consideration for treatment. And let me just add that is I spent time looking at this and listening to people uh, it's clear that the most important part is the mental health counseling. DeWine also announced the proposal that would require health care providers to report data on cases of gender dysphoria without anyone being able to identify them. Marley Pinchock, WSAZ News Channel 3. Governor DeWine says that these rules will be discussed at length with lawmakers and other interested parties. We are